look, and now it's not targeting the enemy. Jesus Christ. The fact that I have now had to, that I, it is now twice actively targeted the enemy with my armor, my, the armor ability that's supposed to give me armor, that's a problem, that is like a ridiculous problem. Game developers, like, fucking fix your shit. sort early memories are over you are ever sodden like even on computers gotta be annoying to constantly have to fuck looking around for fucking click F5, you know? Oh, did I click F5? No, I gotta click F5. F5, F5, F5! And here, you constantly have to go out. It takes longer to save. Like, just put in goddamn autosaves. Just all that to save a goddamn cat. What did he find? It says he found something, but I don't see what he found. What? What? What did... I found something. No, you didn't, you lying piece of shit. You lying Zack of shit! Honestly, gotta remember. Go and save. Go and save, or you're gonna lose everything. Out of nowhere, one one fucking thing could be so difficult. You're gonna lose the last half hour of combat. You're gonna lose it. It's just infuriating. Like I said, it's the inverse curve in this game for some reason. Where the beginning, the enemies have relatively extremely high HP, very high attacks. Uh, compared to your very low attacks, what is this? I need that shovel. I just need a shovel. Can we steal this? Who the fuck was going around? See, he likes it thick and long. Combs it out all dilly eye day. Now, he said he found something over here. I don't trust him. Kind 
kind of feels like the search area should be bigger. Unless... Down there... I heard it too. I heard like a... A ding... You know, like something being revealed. Was it the ladder? Well, we do have one thing we can go dig up. Where? I'm lost. It feels like before I talk to anybody, before I do anything, you just gotta fucking save the game. It's kind of annoying. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. That Magister, that was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? That kind of talk will land you on the rack, pipsqueak. Play tough and we'll play rough, yeah. Now why don't you move along and settle in? A magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. We're up to our hoods in sinners these days. Hey, for fuck's sake, the magister didn't have as much armor as uh, the guy in the... Um The kitchen. Where? Is it up here? Let's see what's up here. There it is. Hey! 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 There we go. Me, I like. Me, I like. Definitely help us here. Two. Then we got armor. Man, I don't like any of the human armor on her, but... I'm assuming as we go, it'll get better. Wait, didn't I get him armor? I could have swore he had armor. Guess not. Ugh, I don't even know anymore. I don't know anymore. I 
I could have swore he had armor on, but whatever. Yoink. I'm gonna save after that. I don't wanna lose that gold. Is that what it was? Did I go over here and find a tree stump? Or some shit? Okay. a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself, for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul. Quiet. Loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People don't change, don't they? She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Magic and metal, like most of Dallas's designs. Metal keeps it locked. Magic makes it work. That's all I know. For you? <laughs> Hell no. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. All manner of things. Have a look. How am I supposed to afford this shit? What? Look, one resurrection skull is 11, 1,188. That's exactly why I... That's exactly what I'm talking about.
Oh, I totally forgot I had those. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease-blackened hand. What do you need? Ha! <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Eh, yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. People do change. That... She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. Ugh, Dallas, you maniac. Why is it now? It's not letting me. The woman looks up as you... What do you need? I need flowers, I think. Give 
give me a quick moment to use the restroom before I come back so I can scream at this game again. Man, if they seriously just lowered the difficulty in the starting area, I I don't know why. It's like you don't you don't have enough enemies to fight, so you can't level up. It's hard to get money or gold. I get that it's a prison, but it seems like I don't know. It it, it seems like it should have been I don't mind that it's a prison, but like they went a little too authentic with the prison. Where like at the very least, even if there wasn't much money, you should have been able to craft. Like you should have like a the ability to craft items, or maybe oh you know what? Maybe I should have went with. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault because I didn't go with a like her being a cleric or healer or something. That could be my fault. I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah. Alright, we're back. Again, I know it's a prison, but, um, I, look, they have a fighting pit down here. You would think they would have, um, oh, my eyes, what's up with my eyes? They're so, ugh. They got a fucking fighting pit. You would think... Like, some items just feel way overpriced, like a resurrection scroll. I can barely scrounge together 500 gold right now. And it's a thousand gold for a resurrection scroll. Like, I can barely... <laughs> it's like 300 gold for a healing potion. Like, I know items would be scarce, but... A little too realistic. Ooh, there we go. Like, I'm really scrounging for shit. The fact that I don't even have a full thing of armor yet, even the basic, like I'm talking the most basic, the fact that I don't have a piece of armor in each category. I mean, should I do more stealing maybe? Should I be stealing more? I don't know. Who will be next to fight? I ache for battle. Twenty four Carson the Snicker. Who do I talk to? I'm a. S you better not be somebody I'm when fighting. Is he gonna be killing I time. Ache for battle. The old man looks you up and down and smiles. Will you fight? I will watch with great interest. When's it gonna be killing time? Who will be next? I to ache fight? for battle. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. 
There can be only one. And you have but one chance. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Okay, hold up here. What do we got going on? We got... We got a big titty gobbo or dwarf battle mage lady. Hmm. This is me, right? Sable. Can I get this out of range? Is this person out of range or no? Bananas go lay down. Bananas go lay down. Go lay down. Dude. Ugh, this is not gonna be fun. Oh, no way. What are we playing? We got... I'm so what? I went from over three-fourths health down to less than like about a tenth. 
I... Oh my god. Oh my god. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This isn't a starting area. This is hell. Like I said, it seems like they wanted to make the Dark Souls of top-down RPG, and they didn't make a good one. They made it... Like, tell me, it... If you have to simply reload the game over and over and over and over and over and over again to hopefully, like, hope, hope you get an advantage somewhere, like, I don't know where I'm supposedly... I know I can make advantages. Look, I made an advantage by scoring this area, right? Um, by scoring an advantage here. Uh, by getting this guy on fire, which is good. But, dude, he has got, look, so much HP. 70 some HP, 70. They're gonna be dead in a second. It, this game's over. It's over. It's it's over and done with. The starting the starting area isn't a starting area. It's not a starting area. I don't know which. Like this is normal difficulty. This is what I'm talking about. The game kicking me my ass in the beginning. I picked normal difficulty. I I don't know what the fuck. This is exactly what I like. I compare it to Pathfinder, and they're very similar games and how they play. And one is balance. Pathfinder seems balanced. There's four difficulties: easy, normal, hard, and like extra hard, right? And normal feels like a normal. Like it, my characters are dying, and I'm having difficult times once in a while. Especially, I'm struggling with, like, character builds and stuff, but... It... Otherwise, it's like... This is just insane. I'm gonna lose the cat if I go near that goddamn door. This guy kills... Do I just need to literally talk to everybody? Frightfully busy at the moment, love. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. Oh, all the wars for old Dane. He crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I would have liked to ease his way out. Out my, out my face, or I'll, I'll punch your lights out, like a living coward. He smacks your hand away, refusing the potion. You're trying to kill me, ain't you? Git! Git! Those bleeding fools think, think they run the place, but... But I showed him. Sure. First, always win. Second, never lose. What are you? Some kind of... kind of idiot. You lay yourself to the grave. I was gonna give him a fucking... Is that thing eating corpses? I'm gonna give him one of my potions, I guess not. Asshole. I'm dying and you're trying to kill me. I hate people like that. See if you spirit to fight the Reaper. Oh, they help. Whoever kills the other is the boss. You're 
The dog just talk. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth and growling. I could have swore I just heard their dog talk. Talk to this guy, maybe. Fifty bucks a tears old. Make the engines rust. doing what are waypoints oh no I don't want you to do that so what's the news certainly got lucky with you, didn't I? The way out's nice and secluded. It starts in a little hidden alcove on the beach. Give me your map. I'll show you where to go. And a hop! I wonder how you could kill Griff. glances from his blade to you and back again <coughs> you already know the terms nothing else to say sure have a look Scared. 
Who was it? Is it Hildy? Who's... Still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stock, if you're so inclined. Only the finest, you know. Hers are 600 for resurrect. Adrenaline, skill, and clock. I'm gonna try this again. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. Got it. Who is seeing me? Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did me so much. Got that special shipment you was asking after. Everything there? Good. Worse than war rations, these. Don't tell anyone where you got this. You can't do jack shit in the beginning. Huh. <gasps> Heroes. Interesting. Where's that ladder at?
We found a yarrow. Again, I could have swore I switched to her. He was asking for Yara, wasn't he? The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, you, you. Quite lost, quite lost, quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear, dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow girl. Can it really be you? The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, heart of me, name of Migo, thank you. Yarrow girl, you crown you have. Toy wooden block. Oh no. That's what it is. There's there's something. P people can talk to creatures. Is it? I think it's Fane. Is it Fane that can talk to creatures? Or did I take that? I think last time I took the ability to talk to creatures or something. I can't remember. Stay with me, Ken. Don't go too close. 
will kill you. The woman looks up as you approach. What do you need? By all means, get an eyeful. Do you why is it a thousand? Why is it a thousand? Nice. Oh, Dallas, you maniac. Let's do physical, but so magic. Reason why I mentions on good. again I show something right here in the back. Follow me. Wait. I wonder where this leads. Did I not know this was here the whole time? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's fine. The opens up. You see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse.
prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reached down and gripped the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. It seems the human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. I chased her here, but she rather seems to have given me the slip. Thus, he turns back to the body, prodding at its face cautiously. Why, its face, of course. What other mm. use would I have for some rotting corpse? Uh, well, good question. Humans are... A uh, face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. Ooh. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Because my own was stolen from me! And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal! Oh, get away! Monster! Hide the children! Oh, you are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. Indeed, no one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather... absent. At least from this realm. As for the others... Well... There is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Splendid. Although, it seems you already have quite a pack of traveling companions. Perhaps you should try discarding some grit before you help yourself to a pearl. He's got no pants. Did I get him? Did I take his pants? There you go. Sorry, bud. Uh, what's in your inventory? You give me all that, would you? No. Toggle.
so. Time to find this Boris fellow. We moved to Sabal. For some reason, doesn't want to move it to Sibyl. Alright. Ah, you've read my contract. What does that look in your eye mean? He gives you an appraising look, almost admiring. I don't do it for the money. A man needs focus in life, purpose. He looks away, refusing to meet your eyes. It's personal, though I don't know you well enough yet to say more. I take it you've no objections to the imminent death of my mark. Good to know. And likewise, with whatever errands of your own you have. Tired of the view in here yet? Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? His eyebrows shoot up, and a wry smile crosses his lips. Can't say I'm not sorry to see you go, but you'll be all right. You seem to have the hang of this place. Good luck out there. Might be we'll see each other further down the road. Where the fuck is he going? Again, can't you see I'm rather busy? He lifts the corpse's eyelids, peering underneath. Mm, it could be worse. Although they could certainly be better. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more... At ease in this world. Very well. Let's be off. It's also oh, okay. It also means you can walk him through poison. If there's an area blocked off by poison, you can walk him through it. Oh, he's already got a whole bunch of equipment. All in one. Grand skill restoration. Yeah, baby. Is that revive? Nice. That is exactly what we were looking for. Oh, and it only takes up one pit. Shush! I'm doing stuff for you. Okay, I'll be honest. What we want to do is equipment. We're going to equip her with the poison staff. Oh, wrong one. Poison. And equip him. Fire. There we go. Over here. It isn't far. Perfect. Now, I can also use her poison staff to attack him with her uh, primary, her uh, whatever that's called, like whatever ability it's called, and um, 
then uh, I should I can heal him with it, I think. Oh, and we want to inventory. Where are my poisons? Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and move. Wait, where are all my glass jars? I should have some glass jars here. There's some glass jars. Why? Why? Why would I do that? Why would you do that? I don't understand this game. I don't. I want to move you. Why would you consume poison? How do I add this to Quick in there. Come on. I don't know how to do it yet. We'll figure it out. Teleport me down to the ledge behind me, near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. Oh, we're almost free. Can you taste the ale? Oh, the scent of home. I'm not gonna lie, who, who should I... No, I don't, um...
don't know. I don't want to leave that poor guy. I feel like this is like just it, right? I can't remember. Let me see here. heard that. I don't know where that came from, though. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. No problem, Freshie. In that case, enjoy your stay. But, I'll be needing to collect your internment fee first, of course. I'm sure the Reds told you, no one gets along without paying the internment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Well, ain't you the playful one, gorgeous? I like them odds. Let's play. He reaches towards you to take a card and... His purse slips easily into your palm and you secrete it away. Hey, hold on a darn minute there. <laughs> These cards are marked. <laughs> but you guessed that already, didn't you? All right then, what am I holding? Wrong. You may be beautiful, but you've got the brains of an elf. Pay up now, or we'll have to play some other games with you, seeing you're such a playful thing. Go on, then. Whatever pennies you've got in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. How much? Did it? I don't think I got that much. Did it tell me how much gold I got? Coin purse.
No, damn it. Whatever. Greetings, child. You must be very far from your homelands indeed. First to be so far from your loved ones, eh? I know the feeling. Troubles me to hear that. Now the divine has gone, our world's duller, darker than ever before. When he comes back, he'll bring a gentler world with him. scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. Don't touch me! You're too close. This collar, this place, it's squeezing the life from me. Do you? You seem fine. Don't you feel how tight this collar is? And there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Her hands move again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar, but there's no space to be made. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts, and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. Hmm? Goods? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Have a look. Oh, ten pots are made of... A thousand pots of dust. Fifty pots of tears, oh... My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why. All of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? No doubt the two are related. Perhaps if we can reverse the cause of our misfortunes, we can stop this madness before it goes any further. Yeah, the crazy thing is, is there's nothing here, no, enough stuff here to do to get to the next level, you know? So, I guess the main, my main problem is, is they should have put more stuff in here so you could level up and, like, fully explore this place. And you really can't, so... Perhaps really? those bleeding dwarves did need so much. If a magister finds this on you, you forget to still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stalk. If you're only the finest, you know.
special shipment he was asking after. Give it down, will you? Alright, we're gonna see if we can do this. <laughs> 